everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Duena, aka Glamazon 1026, and this is The Glam Room. Today, I'm going to be doing my very first uploaded video um, where you're gonna kind of get ready with me and I'll answer some questions that I've asked my social media. These are like the burning questions that all six of you wanna know. So I'm going to do my face and I'm getting ready to go to a Super Bowl party gathering uh, down the street from here. And so I'm just going to do something nice and simple and classic to kind of go with these big waves that I have. For primer, I'm going to first put on the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Next, I'm going to take the Basha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. I always have to look down at it because I never remember what its name is. I'm going to take my Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Setting Powder along with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to press this powder into my pores. Let's get to the first question. What's your name? How do you pronounce it? And how old are you? My name is Duena. Like I said before, it's like Dwayne with an A. There's a funny story about it. My mom wanted to name me Courtney. My dad, his nickname is Dwayne, and he wanted a junior. And so after labor, my dad decided that he was just going to name me Duena. And that's going to be that. I guess it's funny because his name really isn't Dwayne, his name is William, so I guess I could have been Wilhelmina. Okay, so the next question was how old are you? I'm 32 years old. Uh, where are you from and what is your current location? I was born in New York, the greatest city in the world. That's not up for debate. Um, and I currently reside in Nashville, Tennessee. What was it like growing up in New York City? Um, it was fine. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really have any issues with it. Like, I loved it. I would move back if I could, but I'm too poor to afford property in New York City. So I will just stay down here in the South where I can get a little bit more dollar, a little bit more room for my dollar. Next question is, um, what is your education background and what is your career? So, I am a licensed professional counselor, which basically means I'm a master's level mental health therapist. Um, and uh, I work with kids, so I'm a pediatric licensed professional counselor. That was a weird way to answer that question. I'm a pediatric licensed professional counselor, and I have a bachelor's in counseling psychology and a master's of science in mental health counselor. All right, next question. How did you first get into beauty? I've always been interested in like hair and stuff. I was used to like do my doll's hair. I used to pretend I was permanent hair with my mom's like expensive lotion that her uncle used to buy her from England. I used to get in trouble for that. But I always loved like hair. And a couple years ago, my friend was turning 30 and I had to <clears throat> fly back home. She um, was like, oh, it's gonna be a to-do. So I was like, oh, I, gotta, I guess I gotta put some makeup on. And my friend at that time, she was starting her freelance business. So I asked her if she could do my makeup. And she was like, yeah. I'll do it. And she did it, and I look like snap. I was like, yes, I love it. I need this in my life. I need to learn how to do this for myself. And I just liked how I felt, um, especially since like that was at a time where I was like going through some health problems, and I was like really depressed about it. And like for that one night, I got to put all of that behind me and just like bask in my deep faceness. And so I was just like, I want to feel like this all the time. And so I just went on YouTube and I found a bunch of channels with people that look like me. And um, I just followed all of their steps. I just picked up the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay Foundation in the shade 355, which is coconut. I hope it matches me. If it doesn't, oh well, I'm going to 
using it. I guess I'll just fix it with some of my other sh um, foundations. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. One, it's about two and a half. Just to let it warm up. It looks a little bit weird. Everybody's singing this foundation's crazy. Um, I wasn't able to test it on my chest because um, I had on a high neck shirt. So I just tested it on the back of my hand, which is a terrible idea. And um, right down here, which is not as bad, but. So next question. What is the purpose of this channel? The purpose of this channel is to bring, like, just to help women get their skills up. Like, I want, like, the way I felt when I first put on makeup, well, when my friend first put my makeup, put makeup on me, I felt so good. I felt so good that day. And I want everybody else, like I want other women to feel that same way when they put their makeup on. If you are a medium brown girl like me, if you just want to see somebody who looks like you do makeup, great, that's what I'm here for. And also, it's for me to flex my creative side. Uh, I don't really get to, I mean, I sort of can do that in my job, but not for real, for real. Like, I can't do it as well as I would like to. And so this is just another way for me to get that, get that out. Oh my gosh, I am not the right color, y'all. Um, top five products. What are your top five products? I really like eyebrows, obviously. And my pick for eyebrow pomade would probably be the Beauty Bakery brownie pomade. Um, two would be lipstick. My favorite liquid lipstick formula is currently Color Green. I really like their liquid lipstick formula. And another one, Dope Queen Cosmetics, I really like their formula too. So brows, lipstick, lashes, because your face isn't done unless you put lashes on. Like You might think you don't need lashes. The only person I've ever seen that, never need, that doesn't really need lashes is Jackie Ina. But everybody Two more blush and highlight. Look at my five top. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Chisel Cheek Brush with my ABH Contour Kit in Deep. It's the cream one, and I'm going to dip into chocolate. I'm going to get this face snatched. Okay. What do you like outside of beauty in here? So um, I like to eat. And I like to cook. Yes. I also like. Um, home decor. I love like decorating house. I like to read although I don't have time to read anymore because I'm just, I'm just busy. I also like watching documentaries. Especially if it's on like cult or murderers. Oh my god, I love those. I sing sometimes. Well, yeah, usually like twice a month at church. I sing. When I used to live in New York, I used to do studio work. That was really fun. I haven't done that since I came down here. I need to be if I had $500 to blow, what would I spend it on? Furniture. I would go right up to Home Goods. Get all the furniture. Well, not all the furniture. But a couple pieces of furniture. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the next question. Next question is Can we see Reg and Titan? We'll put a picture of Titan here. And then we'll put a picture of Reg here. And that's probably the only place you're going to see them unless I splice in some video of the two of them somewhere in this because Reg says he's not coming in front of the camera no matter how much I beg him and no matter how much you guys want to, well all six of you guys want to see yeah. my favorite place to visit and why so I'll give you my top two and while I'm doing that let's get this eyeshadow look going because we don't have all day do we know I'm going to take Morocco which is this one right here this is from Makeup Geek I'm gonna put it on this big fluffy brush and we're gonna use that as my transition shade. So my favorite place to visit, I have two of them. They're both in the Caribbean. The first one is Antigua and that is because my parents are from there. Um, so we visited a lot when I was younger. And I just 
just love the food and I love the people there. In 2015, we went on a family trip there and my husband, well he wasn't my husband then, he was my boyfriend. He surprised me and he proposed there, so that is my favorite place, okay? Um, and then the second place is St. Martin. Um, the first time we went there was on a cruise and we really liked the island and so we decided that we were going to come back and spend, I think we went and spent 10 days there. Oh, and then my sister got married in St. Martin three weeks before we got married. So we really, really like it. What is your dream vacation? I would really like to go to like Europe or the Mediterranean because I've never been there. I want to go around Africa and eat all the different types of jollof rice. Okay, next question. Do you wear makeup every day? No. I do not put on makeup every day because I would rather sleep. I used to put on makeup when I first started this job because I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a good impression, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna, you know. And then I realized that most of my time is spent um, on the floor with children. Um, so now we're going to open up the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette and we're going to go into Unedited, which is this one right here. This is just a dark brown color. Pick it up. And we're going to go into the outer view with this. A technique that you're proud of um, eyeshadow it took me a long time to get eyeshadow to understand what I was doing with eyeshadow so I'm really really proud of that I'm also really proud of my complexion work because I think I do a really good job like even now with the with the with the foundation that didn't really quite match me I think I did a pretty good job making it look really really good I guess always being comfortable in my skin. Usually I am, but it's not always. And I think that goes for everybody. That might be something that everybody feels. Maybe not Beyonce, but you know, because she's Beyonce. But um, well, maybe Beyonce does feel like that. I don't know her life. We're going to go into our Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Contour Kit. Go in with this sculpting color. And we're just going to put that everywhere we highlight. Favorite YouTube channels. Obviously, I like Jackie Aina. She got two million of us hooked. Um, I like Sydney Lillian. Um, there's somebody else. I have to. There's a there's a bunch of them. Patricia Bright. I love her. I think her um <laughs> I think her personality is so cute. Uh, Tierra Monet. Uh, Face Over Matter. She's a good one. Jenny Jenkins. Chanel Ambrose. Monica Style Muse. I love her. I don't know what she's saying half the time, but I love her. I think she's so, like, I don't know, spunky. Um, Shani Stevens. I really like her. Jenna Jewel. I really like her. And then there are some new ones that I gotta give girls a shout out to my girls. We got Cami Taught You, uh, Lipstick and Legs, Tendon 2, Tisha Nicole. Um, those are just a couple of the people that I watch all the time. I know that was a lot, so you might have to rewind if you don't follow some of those people to get their names. Um, so, um, how can we interact with you? You can interact with me on Snapchat, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course here under below, like in the comment section, everything that I, every handle I have is Glamazon1026. So if you have those, if you see those, they're me. You can talk to me and I talk back. I ain't got nothing else to do. Last thing we gotta do is put on our lipstick. This is Color Green Cherry Blossom. This is my favorite red lipstick. Um, it, um, I saw it on a girl randomly on Instagram and I asked her what lipstick was that. She was like, Cherry Blossom. And I was like, buying it. And I have not looked back, so. I'm whole face for a year with one brand. That would be either NYX or MAC because they have the most complete uh, selection, I think. All right, and then what is your favorite makeup thing to do? Probably eyeshadow. More than likely eyeshadow because you can just change your look so much. 
You can do the same thing to your face the whole time. You can do like the same lipstick all the time. You can do a nude lip, but if you change your eyeshadow, it completely changes the look. So that is my favorite thing to do. So this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for sitting down and getting to know me throughout this first video. I hope you come back. I would love it if you come back. So please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me things that you want to see down here. Um, I, I aim to have a video up every week, but that might not happen because I don't know yet. But I'm going to try really, really hard to get a video, like one video up per week. Um, and anything else that you guys need to know, my handles are Glamazon1026 on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Twitter, Follow me um, on all those platforms. I'm always talking. I'm always finding like makeup deals that I'm sharing with everybody. I'm always like just trying to get as much information out as possible. I wanted to grow it, to grow this brand, the Glamazon 1026 brand. I wanted to get um, as big as I can handle. How about that? <laughs> so um, if that is something that you would like to see as well this brain group. Tell your friends to subscribe. Hopefully um, we can have some fun. All right. So anyway, I keep fluffing my hair because I feel like it's not big enough. I'm, not big enough. I'm about to go out and eat some chicken wings with my red lipstick on. Yes, ma'am. Um, but, you know, it. All right, so I will see you guys um, in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. This, this has been a long time coming. This is a labor of love. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.